everyone. I thought I would just share a quick video editing video uh, with you in case, like me, you were wondering what happened to Final Cut Pro 10's ability to apply um, transition effects to text. You see here, I'm trying to grab this cross dissolve and apply it to this lovely text that I've made here so that the text doesn't just pop on, pop off. Now, we're used to being able to drag a transition over to our main timeline like this. And in the past, we've been able to do that to text blocks like this one here. But suddenly with an update that was no longer there. So has Final Cut Pro done away with transition effects for text blocks? No, they haven't. They've just changed the way we apply them. So if uh, you've been going nuts trying to figure out how to do this, what you do is you click on the text block that you want to apply the effect to, and then you double click the effect that you want to apply. After that, you can do your usual editing. You can shorten um, and, and change around the endpoints of our transition and so on. And now, as you'll see here, the text can fade and, and so on. Um, and if you want to, of course, just get rid of either the, the starting transition or the ending transition, you can just click on it and delete it. Interestingly enough, once you have applied an effect to a text block, don't ask me why this is, but this is the way it is. You can then drag effects over to it the way we used to be able to. So there you go. If you've been struggling with your transition effects and applying them to text blocks or images that go on top of the primary timeline in your video project, well, there you go. That's, uh, that's the solution. They've just changed the way we apply those effects. I hope this helps and happy video editing.